back when I was a boy, slides were a big deal. They're gone now, but it's a fond memory. Slides? What are slides? What are slides? Well, slides come from slide film. Kodachrome, Ektachrome, Fujichrome. So here's the film. This is Kodachrome. Inside the camera, this goes through and gets exposed to the film. Then you take it to the lab and the lab will develop it. This is developed film. This is not slide film. This is regular film. This is, um, you get a negative where the colors are backwards. The greens are red, the reds are green, the blacks are white, the whites are black, etc. But with slides, it's a positive. So the colors are going to be exactly the way they should be. And what they'll do is they'll cut out each frame and they'll mount it. So that's like a frame and it's mounted. So once you get your slides, you're done. You don't have to make any prints. And the slides are gorgeous. The colors are fabulous and they're really superior. So that's something amazing about slide film. So what do you do with your slides? Well, a lot of people would put them in a carousel tray like this and there they are. There's a bunch of slides inside of here. Each one's in there. And then what do you do? We're talking very analog. We're going to project these. So I have my Kodak projector. This is kind of an antique. There it is. So the slides uh, go on here. Carousel goes right on there like that. And the light, there's a nice strong light in here. So it's going to drop one slide down at a time and it's going to beam it out through there. You put it on a screen and it's amazing. It's a beautiful thing to be watching a slideshow. Slide projectors were used a lot in the classrooms. Sometimes the teachers would have a slideshow. And in business, there were lots of sales presentations in business where somebody would have their slideshow set up and they would stand there and present their their pitch and that is now been all replaced by PowerPoint. So PowerPoint is used in a computer, but what do they call them? They call them a slide. You got a PowerPoint slide? Yes, you do. So it all goes back to the good old days of slide projectors. Who else used a lot of slide projectors was museums. And uh, I remember going to a museum and they had a really fabulous show where they had, they had four slide projectors that were all synchronized. Because if you only have one, in between the slides it goes black. So if you have two, then they have a little uh, motor that synchronizes them. So one of them goes on and then that one fades and the next one goes on, that one fades, next one goes on, that one fades. And it doesn't have that annoying blackness in between. And there were even some, I knew a lady that had this really nice presentation. She made four slide projectors and a film, you know, a movie projector. So the slides would be going and then sometimes the movie would come on and then it'd go back to the slides. It was like, wow, that's amazing stuff. And, you know, that was in the 1980s, 1990s. Now with computers, we're spoiled because of all the amazing stuff that we can do. But the slides were a lot of fun and um, in... Not so many American homes, but some people did have a slide projector and a lot of people would come back from their vacation and they would have their slides and then they would uh, invite their cousins or their friends and say, come on over, I'm going to show you my slides on my vacation. And it was actually kind of a joke because most people did not enjoy watching other people's slideshows. So they would say something like, oh, I gotta take my dog to the vet. I'm sorry, I can't make it to come over to see your slideshow. I had a teacher in uh, elementary school who had a captive audience of 28 people to come and watch his slideshow because he showed it to us during school, during the class, so. Kodachrome. I got a roll of Kodachrome film right here. I was going through my camera bags and one of the camera bags in the pocket, I found a roll of Kodachrome film. And this is useless. If I put this in my camera and shot it, it's 36 exposures. There's no lab anywhere that can develop Kodachrome film. It was an amazing process and they made Kodachrome film for about 70 years. Beautiful colors. They preferred it back in the 50s and 60s and 70s. They preferred it 
for magazines and books because it was such excellent colors, very brilliant colors, and it's archival. These uh, Kodachrome slides that I was holding up a few minutes ago, those, if you keep them in a dark place, like in a cabinet or something, they last for decades and decades. They don't fade. So the Kodachrome film is an amazing thing, and it's quite a story that it was invented by two men, both of them, their first name was Leopold. Leopold and Leopold, they spent years and years and years trying to perfect the process. And when they finally got it, it was introduced by Kodak in 1935, and the last lab developing Kodachrome film closed in the year 2010. That's a long run for any product. Um, the two Leopolds made this process, and when it ran through the chemicals, there were 17 stages. You had to run it through this chemical and wash it with this chemical and then run a bath of this chemical. So it was a very elaborate uh, processing, but it was very uh, excellent colors. Um, Ectochrome was, this, was very popular too. I, I don't know if they make that anymore, but this process, the, the chemicals for the uh, Kodachrome was K14. This was E6. It had much less processing and it was a little bit cheaper to run. And people could do it in their home. If you got your home darkroom, you could buy the chemicals and you could develop your own slides. Ectochrome, no, but Kodachrome, yes, you could. And uh, Kodachrome film was so amazing that in 1973, there was a popular song on the radio. It was uh, Paul Simon singing, Mama, don't take my Kodachrome away. So that was kind of interesting that it made itself into the pop culture. And a few years ago, there was a Hollywood movie about the last photo lab that developed the Kodachrome film in Parsons, Kansas. So somebody read about it in the news, in the newspaper, and they said, you know, that might make a neat story. So they devised a story about an old photographer and his son and the cranky old photographer and his son didn't get along but they had to get in the car and get on the road trip to Parsons, Kansas to develop the film because the last day was coming and there'd be no place else to develop the film so the two guys are on the road and they arrive and they all live happily ever after but that's kind of interesting that they made a movie about Kodachrome and the last lab to develop Kodachrome film. Kodachrome and Ektachrome and Fuji from Japan, they had Fuji Chrome. And from Europe, you had Agfa Chrome. So they were all amazing slides. Myself, personally, when I went to the store, I would buy Kodak. If I had to, I would reach for the Fuji. But I don't think I've ever shot any uh, Agfa or Ansco or any of those other uh, slides. But I shot a lot of slides back in the 80s and 90s. An interesting thing about the slide projector was there's one light bulb in there and it's really bright. So it's shining that image out onto a, a white screen and the colors are amazing because it's uh, just like glowing. And it's such a beautiful thing to actually sit down in front of a nice slideshow and see the amazing colors and the very sharp details of a slide. Yep, slides used to be a really big deal. Slideshows, slide projectors, slide film, all that, well, it's all a thing of the past, but I remember it. All right, well, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, we'll tune in some other time, and I'll talk to you about some other things that happened back when I was a boy.